Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I love doing videos like this and it's been a while since I've done a help video on an electric bike. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a secret menu where you could increase the speed of your bike, prolong the life of your bike. In fact, I'm gonna show you all kinds of cool tricks that you can do with your e-bike to improve its performance and really customize it for you. Let's have some fun, let's go. All right, so I got a close up view of the panel right here. Now this is the M5 panel and you can add this to any e-bike so long as it is anywhere from a 24 volt up to a 60 volt e-bike. So you can add this. I'm gonna show you how to get into the developer menu on here. If you can't do it on your e-bike for whatever reason, you can always add this panel. It's just, you just connect the wire. It's super, super easy to do. So all you have to do, there's a plus and a minus on your uh, little control panel here. All you have to do is hold both down for a couple seconds and you're going to get in developer mode. This is level one and you've got different brightnesses on level one. I'll go over each one really quickly, but all you have to do is hit the power button one time, tap it down to go between each setting and there's 20 different settings. Now I want you to do me a favor. I want you to save this video. That way you can reference it back because I'm going to put a picture of what each one of these settings does. So you can truly customize your e-bike. One is the brightness. So there you go. If you're riding it at night, you might want to do this one because the level one will just give you a little bit longer battery life. Um, but if you're in bright light and you need a little bit more uh, display, backlit display, you go to level three, hit OK. So each one of these does something different. Two is between metric and kilometers. Like if you want miles or kilometers per hour, you could do that. Three is the battery voltage type. You will need to change your battery voltage if you are adding this to a bike that might not be 48 volt because that is the default. This is the sleep timer here uh, on four. So you want it to go to sleep, you can do that. Five is the gears, how many gears you have. You may need to change that as well if, you've, if you add this. This right here is the rim size, so this could affect your speed as well. Um, if you set that, this is your magnetic poles ratio. This is super important, guys. Read up on that because that could affect how fast you can get your bike to go. Eight is the most important. Right here, I have this set for a max of 25 miles per hour. Um, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to raise this all the way up. This is a 48 volt uh, e-bike that I have this on. It's only 750 watts, so I could probably go about uh, probably about 48 miles per hour, but I don't want the limiter to ever kick in. So I'm going to go ahead and raise mine all the way up to 100 and that way the limiter is not affected. It will go as fast as the motor can handle, um, which is super important, especially if you're going downhill, you don't want your bike to slow you down. Nine here will determine whether you want it to start just with the throttle or if you want to pedal before it starts to kick in, that's up to you. This is how you switch between pedal assist only, no throttle, electric mode only, all that can be changed in 10. I'm going through these really quick guys, but I will put a picture, like I said, of each one of these settings. 11 is the uh, start sensitivity. Uh, 12 is the strength on your start. So all those have to do with starting your e-bike right off the gun. Do you really want that torque to kick in? This is the type of sensor, pedal assist sensor. This one here is your controller limit. This one right here is your controller under voltage protection. This one right here is your clearing switch. So you can long press it for six set seconds and it will actually clear your odometer. 17 right here is your auto cruise. Do you want auto cruise to be set on this? This is your speed indication ratio. And number 19 is your gears. You can determine whether there's no gears or it has gears. And this right here is your communication agreement. That's all it is. It doesn't really do you any good on that at all. So this is the panel here. Now keep in mind guys, you can add this panel to just about any e-bike. Even if your e-bike doesn't normally have a panel, you can add this. And I'm gonna put a link down in the description where you can get it. It's the M5 panel and I added it to this bike and I've added it to a lot of e-bikes because you can completely customize it for your e-bike. I hope this helped you out on understanding what your panel can do because most e-bikes, you can do exactly what I shared here, but if yours doesn't for whatever reason and you want your bike to go a little bit faster, maybe have a little bit longer range or you wanna customize the feel off of the take, there's a safety feature on here where some e-bikes you have to pedal it before you can use the throttle. This one's turned off, so you could turn that, you can toggle that on or off as you want. There's a lot of cool features, guys, so make sure you save this video and reference it back when you do get an e-bike or if you change out the panel for something like this because I, again, will put a actual picture of what your screen looks like and what each setting 
does. To save your changes, it does it automatically, so you don't have to really do anything, but if you wanna just get going right away, leave it for 10 seconds and it just goes back and it saves your settings. Or you could just turn your bike off and on. Again, it will save those settings. Now there's a way to go all the way back to your original factory settings on here as well. And that is in one of those pictures, so make sure you check that out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love doing help videos on e-bikes. I know a lot of people ask me, how do I get my e-bike to go faster? Well, this will do it, guys. This panel right here can do it for your e-bike. And, um, and again, I'll put the link to that down in the description section for this panel. It is available on Amazon in the United States. I don't know about other countries, but in the US it is available. Toggling between kilometers per hour, miles per hour is a big one because a lot of times these are set automatically for kilometers per hour. And in the US, of course, we use miles. Um, also, I don't like the limiter to kick in, especially when I'm going downhill. So I just raise that so it just won't kick in at all because I can't go faster than 100 miles an hour. I'll tell you that right now, not with my weight. But that's all I wanted to do, guys. I just wanted to tell you what each setting was, how to get into it, how to change it, all that stuff. Now, don't get crazy and start changing all kinds of things until you know what each thing does. And that's why I quickly went through it. Make sure you read up on it because you don't want to change the voltage to the wrong voltage battery. You don't want to change the tire sizes too much because it could affect the speedometer on here. You don't care about that. You could get your bike to go a little bit faster by changing your tire size but I don't recommend doing a lot of changes to this. If you want it to go faster, change that. If you want a little bit longer life, there's a couple settings that you can change for that. I'd really focus on that, guys, and enjoy your e-bike. It's yours, you can do what you want with it. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks, bye.